Hello and welcome back, everyone. Here we are. Firing back in Mass Effect Andromeda. Sorry I'm a little late. I was working on an air conditioner. I got home and uh, my phone went off and I was like, oh, that's the on-call number. So I answered it and uh, somebody's air conditioner wasn't working. So I had to fix it. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't actually fix it, though, because I can't. Not The unit was completely frozen, so... Um, you can't pump refrigerant into the units if they're frozen. And if they're freezing, it means they're low on refrigerant. That's, you know, they're low on Freon. So, I just pulled the disconnect on their unit and I told them, listen, you're just going to have to go the night without air conditioning because I, I can't do anything about it, you know? It just, it's going to take several hours to defrost. Uh, and the whole thing has to be defrosted before I can, I can do it. Or it's going to affect the temperature of everything. So... Um, tomorrow morning I'm going to go in, I'll pump some more refrigerant into it, and that'll be that. So yeah. Working on getting, uh... Yeah, I don't know what all I've got planned for what all might be happening. Uh, if I have to stop the stream partway through, I mean, I'll have to answer my phone. So, you'll know why. <laughs> Talk to Gren. It's doing that weird choppy thing. Someone get this It's almost like the game forgets that it runs just fine. It's Gren, isn't it? I'm the Pathfinder. There's a right of union waiting for you. I told Cordic, and now I'm telling you. Come here, I Nick. won't do it. Varka already agreed to the right. Don't care. I'm not fighting with that arrogant sack of rocks. Help me out here, Drac. Kid, you have two choices. Charge into that arena, or listen to Barca call you a quadless coward for the rest of your life. So you're ganging up on me too? Any chance you'll just give up and leave me alone? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important. Nichols, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Fine. If it gets everyone off my back, I'll perform the right. But I don't trust Varka to fight fair. Come here. The second that fiend is dead, she'll gun for me. I need a third party to keep her in check. Someone neutral, like a Pathfinder. Me? That's right. I don't fight unless you do. What about my squad? No squad. Just you, me, and Farga. Guess I don't have much of a choice. Well, I'm pretty prepared as it is, so let's head on out. Where's Nichols? Come here, bud. Pathfinder. It turns out that fiend who is female brought two males with her. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> now this is a fight. All right, let's rock and roll. Ow, that hurt. I hope there's another ammo crate. Oh, hello. Nope. Hello. 
pardon me. Giant monster. Ow. Ow. I tried to dive out of the way, but I didn't realize there was a wall behind me. That causes problems. I'm gonna run out of ammo before I can fight these guys off. I like that for the most part the fiends are just ignoring everyone else and going after me. There is that one though that just doesn't care about me at all. That'll change as soon as I'm done fighting. I've got some renderable plates. Let me see something. Because I've never actually used any of this? No? Is this how it works? Goes the fiend. Fire combo. have to do that because I don't think there's another ammo crate. That was just the one. Kaboom! Sweet, there goes the fiend. Okay, what else we got? Mm, let's see, let's see. Forgotten history, we gotta do that one. Gotta go to the flop house. Speak with Colt Dalton. I forget where he is, though. We gotta clear out the flop house so we can go do the, uh... Okay, so actually I need to go back to... The flop house. Uh, check a Rooney. I was hoping we could just slap a, an outpost down, but no, can't be that simple, can it? What is that? Memory trigger. Okay. 
Oh, there's a couple of quests at the flop house too. Okay, so we'll just fast travel there. My eyeballs itch so bad. I hate my allergies. Back to the floppin' housing. Maybe it's just too close. Backing up. Backing up. Nomad was too close. This place is a den of scum. Keep your eyes open. Do you ever hear the saying, honor among thieves? Yeah, but I don't believe everything I hear. <laughs> There's been a ton of people around here trying to murder me. Oh. Nope, hand, hands are in the wrong place. Shut everything down. Next track. Appreciate it. Dead Eye Armor 6. Okay, let me check my journal, because I just picked up something. I gotta stick with this one. And then we can go help those people. Command Center's gotta be up here. Hopefully we disabled the alarm for the entire compound. Oh, great. We got targets. Get him, Drac. Ow. Did you guys chill? Oh, 
want shields. Okay. Well, that's all the Hydras. These constructions are ours. I think this is one of our failed mining outposts. Fire combo. Works real well on anarchists like that. It's up there in that rock or something. I can't get it. Come on. Locked. They must have barricaded themselves in. What now? We blow it up. Find a security terminal. I may be able to attempt to fight past the locks remotely. Sliding down the stairs. Agent ended up back there. And down he goes. Down that one goes. What we have here? Some trash. Something I'm gonna rip apart from materials. I think we're done. I'm just saying, there's too much remnant here. I feel like I'm always being watched. They're just hunks of metal. I think there's something controlling them. That's one. Optional, disable all security terminals. It's locked. Security must be disabled to open this door pathfinder. Deactivating console. Uh, Almost there, Pathfinder. Just one more console. Hold to disable the door. And data pad. Excellent. I love having access to things. Oh, a thing. And another thing. And some stuff. Take all the stuff. Well, all right. over here. Let's see. Scanning for things. Didn't find anything. That we have to ration water here. Yeah, we never had to do that on the Nexus. Pathfinder, 
Reinforcements will arrive soon. Incoming shuttle, Pathfinder. Let's hope that stops them. It won't stop this wave, but it'll stop them. You guys focus on him. I can bypass the command center's doors from here, Pathfinder. Please try to remain within range of the console until the process is complete. They found us. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, there's more of them coming from right here. Sorry, Vetra. Are there more baddies coming? Pathfinder, I have bypassed security. You can now enter the command center. There's still somebody left. Hello? And now they're dead. Bunch of stuff down here. Remains of my enemies. Thought I will... Oh, there's a bunch of people up there. Oh, crap. Looks like they forgot about biotics. Sharpshooter will be shortly. Drac is in there punching him in the face. He's dead. Ha! Let's go back and see what's in there. Because there's one of the pariahs. Because there are very, very few biotics in this game. Even amongst the Asari, they only show biotics like twice. Actually, let's... Nope. Is that because I was in the middle of an action? Okay, well. Alarms disabled, Pathfinder. Sweet. Scavengers are wiped out from the flop house. Map.
This location is ideal for outpost placement. You can call an outpost via the beacon. Oh well, don't you worry. Just gotta go make a quick... Gotta go check a location real quick. Thanks, Vetra. Appreciate it. Hello. Are you guys... Okay, we're not done defending yet. Okay, now we're done. And those scavengers might have been wearing our skins. Nasty crash. Are you guys okay? Minor injuries. As long as we can get a shuttle out, we'll be fine. I don't suppose you could call for help. Of course. Sam, relay this location to the Tempest and get them to send a shuttle. Done, Pathfinder. Help is on the way. We'll just wait here till our ride comes. I don't expect we'll run into any more trouble. Thank you again. Quite welcome. Actually, let me check my map. There is a memory trigger here we can grab on our way to set up the new outpost. That's right. is in place. Unfortunately, the conditions to unlock it haven't yet been satisfied. Well, let me know when that changes. No telling what Dad was up to. Now it's outpost time.
Confirmed. Calling outpost. Huzzah! You really did it. Almost a civil war, and you brought them back. But it's all about the resources. No poetry, right? I considered the Krogan a permanent loss. Too many egos involved. Thankfully, my ledgers don't care how they get filled. If I can retroactively call the Krogan colony an outpost, that's a win. But that practicality is not universal. Tan will hate this. I'm not interested in opinions that don't see the value here. Good, because there will be a lot of them. But not from me. This is the last one, Pathfinder. The last golden failure we thought we'd lost. You did it. And it will undoubtedly draw one of Dr. Kennedy's trackers. Search the Zalbrae system. She and her child are still a priority. But for now, I need your voice to remind them what this meant. Get the flags waving. This seems more important than that. It's about setting a tone, not telling the whole story. Thanks to the Krogan doing what Krogan do, surviving despite and in spite of everything, we have another home. It's not tame, it's not safe, but it's bringing the dream back. New to Chanka. One for the records, Pathfinder. Addison out. Boomerang. Got time to look? Why is that man silver? Looking for that something special? Boomerang has got what you need. Best loot in the dunes. Here for your perusal. You're a scavenger? Not anymore, I'm not. Fine folks at the initiative gave me a second shot. I'm on something called a probationary period. Got a fancy metal bracelet on my ankle and everything. They're too good to old Boomerang. Okay, I have to know the story behind that name. I ran with Axius and his boys. He's the one who started calling me Boomerang. Kept beating me senseless and leaving me for dead out in the dunes. But I always came back. Enough about me. You're here for the good stuff. Look what Boomerang's got for you. Nothing. Nothing. Mm hmm. Hmm. Eh. Like usual. The quests start popping up. Once you get the outpost built. One of your people tried to enter our family quarters. You tell him if we catch him there again, he's losing a hand. If you touch my people, we have a problem. <laughs> Carista Chana, Andromeda Initiative. Here to oversee operations and attempt to repair relations between the Nexus and the Nakmor clan. It is a tremendous accomplishment, securing their cooperation. Don't ruin it this time. We can't afford to be divided. We need to work together to survive. I understand. And I promise to do everything I can to maintain relations. How's the situation here? Actually, I have a concern. There's a remnant architect in the area. You might have even seen it on your way in. If it detects us, or the Krogan, it's going to attack. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Ryder. In the meantime, I'll have our security on alert. If it comes down to a fight, we'll fight. I should get going. Be well, Pathfinder. Let's fast travel on out. Do you want to check something real quick? Oh, crap! Oh, there's the architect. Go for the leg. 
Oh, it is actively trying to attack us from over here. Hang on. I'm just checking something real quick. Interesting. Okay, so the other thing I was looking, I was trying to look at, was that the worm. Several Krogan were talking about at one point. It's the uh, remnant abyssal. I'm doing well. How are you, Rafter? I guess you're Corgi right now, so Corgi. How are you? It's just the objectives. Hit the different parts of this thing. I missed a quest back there. But that's okay. It's multiplying. Doing well. A little tired. I uh, started the stream a little late. A new job. I got to be on call this week. So. Right when I was supposed to be getting home, uh, I got a phone call and I had to drive back out to my property, which is about 20 minutes away. So on all, not too bad, but, you know, not great. Somebody's having a problem with their air conditioner and had to try to work on it. Oh, no, I understand. It's fine. Plus, I changed everything around. change my schedule around and such. Now stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Out of ammo. Yes, I totally understand. It's fine. fine that's all I really that's all I really want you know and that's only if you are enjoying you know no point in hanging out if you don't like what you're seeing so I appreciate it I've just been busy with the job just hang out in this spot don't go anywhere architect Nope, it's gonna leave and do the thing they always do. It's like, oh no, I'm done fighting you here. I'm going to go somewhere else now. <sighs> After it. I chase it down. Hello, Apold. Run a little late. Oh, I ran a little late at work today. I got home, or I got home around my normal time as I was pulling up to the apartment complex. My phone rang, and it was uh, on, on call work order, so I had to turn around and drive back to work. <laughs> Somebody had an air conditioner that wasn't working. I 
I went to uh, I went to deal with it, but I couldn't actually do anything. Because the unit was totally frozen up. And the unit won't accept any refrigerant when it's frozen. So, I just had to... I had to basically totally shut off their air conditioner and let it... It's just got to sit until tomorrow. Oh, that's okay. No problem. I get it. I'm just telling Rafter the same thing, you know. It's or Corgi Fluffer. So you're on your you're on that account. <laughs> totally understandable. I hope y'all are doing fine today. Uh oh. Get stuck. More ammo. And that leg should be ready for me to attack again. Come on. Oh, it's gonna make minions. Minions summoned. Guys, focus fire on that leg. Grenades. <laughs> nice. What's it all to counter for? All right, Architect. I got you two-thirds of the way dead. After it. That's what I'm working on, Drac. All right, it's gonna set down. The legs are weak. Oh, it's all the way on the other side. Focus fire! Oh! Okay, we're fine. Hit the head! It's over! Nope, there's a rock there. Pillar or whatever it is. It's gonna shoot a bunch of nanites at me. At least I think that's what it's doing. Alright, I think it's gonna summon minions. Go for the leg. 
It shot a bunch of grenades at me, didn't it? Oh, okay, we're fine. down. Got it. Excellent. Quick, interface. Bye, Architect. Enjoy space. Is there anything left, or was that just the architect? Oh, it's gone Got now. All. Okay. I was getting shot a lot. A lot, a lot. Speak to the outpost leader. You, Ryder. Problem solved. I should get going. Be well, Pathfinder. How'd you get an ad? Is that because I didn't run an ad? I didn't run an ad, so I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Corgi Fluffer. I don't know why that happened. Unless Twitch is doing something new. But I know all my subs get um, ad free, but I don't think you shouldn't have to just. Yeah. <laughs> but I, that's still, I still don't understand how you ended up with an ad. Because I think I've got pre roll ads disabled or something like that. I don't. I disabled most of the ads except for the ones that I run. All systems green. Doctor Okir. Okay. Hang on one second. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder.
Thanks. Thanks, Silly. Appreciate it. I was saying that you, uh, it doesn't take long to hit that critical point of even if you're, say, stealing pennies, having to pay taxes on them at some point. Ooh. I thought I unmuted after Tap walked out, but that's fine. Thank you, Uphold. Ooh. My bones. Okay, ooh, I like how pixelated that planet is back there. That's real nice. Or moon, I don't know what it is, but it's something. Pathfinder, I've detected the last DK tracker we need. Right. We need to find Dr. Kennedy before the row car. I'm picking up something. It's an asteroid. Ugh. Don't go to the asteroid. You might have. Definitely my joints. I felt my elbow and shoulder pop. For sure. So you may have uh you may have heard some some old man noises from me. And I'm getting Ket Drive wash. Now the Ket are involved? Damn it, get close. <laughs> it's all my oldness. Bleeding through the microphone. <laughs> Cal was right. Signs of Ket. But I'm getting data. The four trackers give us a point of origin. On Vold. That planet has no shortage of leftover Ket. We don't want a baby near Exaltation or Rokar. We have to find them on Vold. Oh, actually, I need to, I need to go back to Elodin for a second. No, not there. Go back. <laughs> Tabitha is digging through some boxes looking for something. And Nichols is sitting on the other side of the little, like, baby gate we've got to keep the dog from getting into the cat area. And he's just watching her. He's just sitting there staring at her as she goes through. <laughs> All right. Hello, bring the Tempest in. Quit showboating. emote. It looks so good. Oh, it was the landing pad outside. Okay. And realize this time they actually built a landing pad outside of the outpost.
I guess Nichols was getting into something he wasn't supposed to because Tabitha sure <laughs> made a lot of noise over there. Trying to run him off. I'm sure that's what was happening. I've heard that sound plenty of times. Kidding, Wapold. Slander and unspeakable lies about a Nichols not listening or doing things he's not supposed to. No data is available, but this may be Angora. Available want to see this. Okay, that's all I needed to do here. Nichols. Nichols, come here. Come here, Floof. One second, y'all. Rider. Oh, Nichols, he didn't stay at all. You done gone left. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Wait, really? He did. He didn't want anything to do with me after that. Four cryopod points available? Oh, no wonder. Okay. Tabitha is digging through the closet behind me. Oh, nice. Science pods. I think he's probably sleeping somewhere. He's at least laying down. He'll probably end up getting up in a minute and yelling at one of the both of us. Because it's near bedtime. <laughs> he does that. Quarters demand satisfaction. And so does Nichols, for that matter. Nichols is not trying to 
climb into the closet while Tabitha's over there because we never open those closets up. It's probably because Tabitha ran him off a minute ago. Beginning approach. Old orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ. Okay. Tab, I'll put all the I'll put it all the way up in the stream. No, I'll do it. Don't worry about it. What? It's just yeah, just make a noise behind me. Save it. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. All these other things popping up. <laughs> I've got too much stuff on my screen. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Thanks, Sam. Mayday, Mayday. Any initiative personnel, we need help. This is the Pathfinder. There may be Rokar and Ket closing on you. No, 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 not now. This does not sound good. Can you make a run for it? Running is unlikely, Pathfinder. Ah, ah. This is not the ideal time. Tempest, Dr. Kennedy will need an escape vector ASAP. Understood. Give me his gun. Oh, oh. My kind of girl. Let's go. The Rokar. They're coming in from both sides. I got Ket on one side, I got Rokar on the other. Turret. Looks like it needs power. Uh oh. Seen that yet? Reloading. Uh, 
Nope. That guy exploded. I'm off. Wait until you're clear. There's no time. Got them. Are they safe? What about it, Kennedy? We're safe. He's safe. Yes. Get clear, Doctor. But we have to wrap this up with Addison. Understood, Pathfinder. We're slipping and sliding all over the place. I had to contact Addison on the Tempest. I got points to spend, but I'll get back to that. What, the, the noise that was happening behind me with Bold? Oh, the baby. <laughs> no, it was not a cat. I'm detecting balloon right, yes, it was a baby in the game. Because that was the... It's hard to keep track of it, but that was the whole story, is that Dr. Zoe, whatever her name is, was leaving the initiative because she wasn't allowed... They were like, well, you can't have a baby yet. You know, we need to get an outpost set up and this and that. And she's like, I'm going to go have a baby. Get out of here. You can't tell me I can't have a baby. And so she went and uh, she was having a baby, but was uh, being attacked by the cat and the Rokar and some other folks. We were fighting them off and then she had the baby. Battle ancient ferocious creatures. Fire combo. Is that not the ancient ferocious creature we were supposed to attack? Did I not get close enough to it to activate the thing? Yeah, you know, you're not crazy, Wipold. Well, I mean, as far as I'm aware, you're not crazy. are within acceptable parameters. Ah, you found your first beacon. Ready for a taste of Heskar training? Give me your best shot. There's a gigantic fiend nearby. Let's see if you can hunt it before it hunts you. <laughs> I forgot about the whole beacon thing. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, there's a bunch of them.
Oh boy. This one's probably going to be Battle Remnant. Entrance to Ket Command Center, straight ahead. Or this is going to be getting sensitive data. I was talking to the ladies that work in the office of the apartment complex I work at. And they, uh... Well, I'll tell you in a second. Oaker dokes. We can do that. Um, and they asked me, or I told them, I, hold on, I got a sneeze coming now. They asked me um, what I did to fix one of the air conditioners. I was like, oh, I just set it to heat and set the temperature to uh, 85 degrees. That's all it took to fix it. And they kind of just stopped and looked at each other. And they looked at me and they're like, what did you really do? I said, oh, the breaker on the outside on the condenser was off, so I turned it on. And it was a little low on refrigerant, so we recharged it. <laughs> They were like, oh, that makes a lot more sense. Hack progress. Do, 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 do. It was a test of subtlety. If I'm gonna hack and they're just gonna send 4,000 guys at me. Oops. Nice work. Here comes another shuttle. Cat shuttles look weird. Let's get him. Hello? You know, turning invisible doesn't help you if you stay in the same place, you know? Keep alert for Ken. They're not gonna want us in. Step in here and recharge my life support. There we go. The party just got bigger.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice try. Not gonna hide over there. Just let that guy live for a little while. See if that. Nope, it doesn't prevent reinforcements. <laughs> over there. this console. Let's see what goodies we have. Oh, I didn't realize there were two goodie containers over there. One more to dig through. I want to protect it while they send more bad guys at us to murder us. That's all they want. I don't think we're done here. Of course we're not. We just started. I think I killed everybody there in, in biotic explosions. Plus 20% sniper rifle damage, plus 20% sniper rifle force. Nickels. Knickknacks. Come on. 
coming from the other side. It's destined in this group. Oh. It's not good. I gotta let that recharge. Up. And then I'll run inside and let my life support recharge. Sweet. This should be it. Sam, get a full download. Why are we whispering? We've got targets. I wasn't paying any attention to my life support levels there. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's all remains. Don't care then. <laughs> Everyone, we're not out of the woods yet. Sam, download everything. All right, there's more bad guys. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Oops. Active remnant. Careful. We've got if I was a beacon, where would I be? somewhere. Huh, interesting. Is it in here, perhaps? No. So messed up. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Okay, it's close. There it is. A destroyer. Ow. Ow. No. 
nope, 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 nope. Take cover. Should be everything here, I think. Yeah, return to the Tempest so you can do whatever on the Nexus. Oops, I'm gonna do that. The temperature is falling. Back to the Tempest. Probably after a hello, hello, Suvi. Probably after prey. Whenever I get around to playing that, yeah. whenever I finish Andromeda, I'll do prey, and then I'll probably go back to uh, Subnautica Below Zero. We'll probably run that one because they. Uh, I think it'll be full release by then. Whenever it hits full release, I'll uh, I'll go back to that one. Because they'll have the actual, like, they'll have the actual full story out. So I don't know if I'm just going to, I think I'll have to start over. Old Arbit is steady. Let's kick it back out. Let's go to, yeah, we need to go back to Aya. We'll go there so I can hand over the artifacts that I found. And then we'll go to the Nexus and turn in that quest. And we'll probably have to go talk to Addison there. No, I have to... I have to call somebody. I have to call Zoe from the Tempest. And then probably call Addison after that. So let's just get in orbit around Aya. And then we will... Exit the galaxy map, and I can make that video call. It's a solid whoops. Should have done that a minute ago. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Thank you. Oh, we have to call Addison about it. Pathfinder, I have Dr. Kennedy on the channel. She is very tired, but alive. And the baby? Lunch like a banshee, and safe. And now that you're back in the fold, it's the Initiative's job to keep you safe. Locking people up isn't the solution. We can't watch everyone all the time. You had to comb the cluster and run a gauntlet to save them. From what I've heard, they've done the same for every outpost. Your Pathfinder knows you can't keep this bottled. If you want to save, make it all safe. Prodromos is where we started our new lives. They'd love to welcome this one. It's not too far. 
if you ever want to talk. I haven't changed, Foster. That's what I hoped you'd say. You never said what name you chose. Maybe Pathfinder? Scott's good too. <laughs> no, it's David. David Edward, for an old friend. Goodbye, Ryder, and thank you. Data pad. Oh, it's poker log. several pages of the poker log okay Go to the museum. Oh, my goodness. Man, two hours is not enough time to do anything in Andromeda. <laughs> I always feel like I've done nothing. Just how I felt at work today, but I think I signed off like six or seven work orders. It's just been a day. Same thing for yesterday. Learned a lot about air conditioning, though, because I then knew I'd need it being <laughs> on call this week. Uh, is this a fast travel? It is. But part of it is I'm knocking out as many side quests as I possibly can, because I've never played Andromeda before, so... I know how Mass Effect is. The more you play it, the more missions you do the more it affects the outcome of the game. Ryder, you are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. I can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> that you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Yeah, for the most part, it's going by pretty quick. We're pulled. I mean, we're just busy. You know, we have so many work orders. So, so many. And part of that's just because the property's old and they're trying to Welcome do several to things. In the galaxy. Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? I picked okay. this up. Any idea what it might be? After this, I'll tell you skies, a little more. Star Star Map? One that still works, even. It must be pre-scourge. If we analyze it, we can learn where our people traveled before the Dark Age. 
Do you know much about where your ancestors traveled? No, not at all. The Scourge wiped out nearly everything. We're only just beginning to travel again. Could they have made it to another galaxy, like us? It's possible. For all we know, there are entire Angaran worlds beyond our reach. You've given me more to study than I ever expected. I've got a lot of work ahead. Thank you for your help, Pathfinder. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Uh, for example, there's four or five buildings that are that continue to put in work orders about water backing up um, in drain lines. So, like, oh well, if if anyone in this building, anyone on this side of the building washes clothes, uh, the water backs up into my apartment. Or one lady calls continuously because the same kind of problem, but. It's she's got like dirt, like mud comes up in her sink, and it is it's it's water and dirt is what it is. It's not like I mean, technically speaking, technically it is sewage, but it's not. Um, you know, it's not from like a a drain line, a sewage line from a toilet. I mean, it's it is like food waste and you know laundry. So I mean, it's not. It's a, it's just not as big a problem as it could be. It could be a much much worse problem because uh, it could be, you know, a raw sewage line. <laughs> but essentially, what's happened is the buildings are so old and the pipes are like they're like cast iron pipes, so the bottom of the pipes have rotted away, and so there's nowhere for the water to go because it spills out of the pipes and gets caught up in the in the ground around the pipes. So it drains slow, so the only place it can go is back up the pipes it came from. Um, and I was talking to uh, our maintenance supervisor, and she said that the biggest issue with that is they had a they had a tech come out they had, where they had a like a company come out and work on it, and uh, they ended up fixing it. They fixed the problem, and it cost like. Sixteen thousand dollars, because they had to go into the bottom apartment, the bottom the apartment on the first floor. They had to cut out the concrete slab under the unit, rip all of the pipe out, replace it, pour fresh concrete, redo all the flooring, and that fixes the problem. The problem is there's four or five buildings that have this issue, so they're trying to get people out to do it but it's so expensive they're trying to take bids on it and somebody somebody along the line is dragging their feet on the issue or they're trying to like they're trying to be smart about shopping around for the price and they're taking longer than they probably should on the on the issue at least as far as the residents are concerned some of the problem with that though is that as far as the residents are concerned it needs to be done yesterday <laughs> but there's one lady who keeps calling in on call it is and technically we can't call them tenants according to fair housing I don't know why that is because I looked up the definition for tenants and, and residents and it's essentially the same thing <laughs> but I haven't taken my fair housing stuff so I don't know why that's the case I think tomorrow I have to go through fair housing training, and I hope that's not the case. I hope I can just do work. They could. One lady is documenting every call that she makes to the office, or that she makes to on-call. She's writing them all down, and she's writing them all down for a reason. She's either going to uh, contact somebody above us, and be like, this is what's happening, and it's not, it's something's not being fixed. I want it fixed now. Or she's going to take it to the city and tell them about it, or she's going to take it to a lawyer. More than that's going to one of those places, that's for sure. And the, uh, the other thing that could happen is if the city find that the city, you know, the city can find the property. I think I think one of the other maintenance guys said they could find like do a five thousand dollar fine a day. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
no, 100%, but at least, I will say at least everybody along the line knows there's a problem and they're working on it. I just don't know where the holdup is on the issue. It's, it's not great. This is why is there a green? What's that? Oh, right, 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 right. Hello. Safely home, thanks to you and your skills. I've learned a great deal. Anything in particular the Heskarl can use? Team structure, battle coordination, your maneuver with the jump jets. And I want one of those. Your performance was exemplary, Ryder. I can see clearly why your N7 would be the best of the best. Yeah. If you tire of being a Pathfinder, I'd be honored to call you a brother has gone. Okay, that's done. Easy enough. I leveled up. Jaws hanging out here. I've read about. I think I'd like to visit Palavin the most. A single world of fortresses and fire. <laughs> it sounds wonderful. And different from anything I've seen. Blah 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 blah. There's one or two people I talked to about those plumbing problems, and I was like, "Listen, I understand it's a huge issue, but I want you. I do want to tell you that we know about the problem, and we're working on it. We're trying to fix it." And I told, once I explained to the lady how big of an ordeal it's going to be, she was like, oh, wow. No, I see why it's taken you all a while to work on that. And she's like, but thank you for telling me. I said, well, and I know one of the things that's most frustrating about this kind of thing is that you call the office and the office says, we're working on it. If they don't, that's all you hear. And that's all you hear when you call back about it. And it's frustrating. It's irritating. And she's like, yeah, all I wanted to know is what the problem was. And it's, she's like, I get it. <laughs> It's like, well, good. I'm glad that's the case. But, I mean, for some... I mean, it's not as big a deal for the people on the second and third floors. Because, clearly, it doesn't happen to them as much. But have, we had one lady call in two days ago about it. And we had a plumber come out and he, you know, snaked the lines. And it helps. But the problem, it's getting worse and worse. So, snaking the lines is helping for less and less time. So I told him, you know, it's, this isn't going to fix it, but it'll help. I don't know for how long, but it'll help. And they were like, that's all that's all we want right this second. <laughs> Journal. What's on my mouse? Oh, absolutely. That was one thing I learned working. Oh, I need to talk to, what's his face? Liam. I don't care about any of that. Yeah, they, especially because some of them recognize the other, like they recognize Alex and Mike. And they don't recognize me. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm new here. You know, so I'm just, you know, I asked about the problem and they're like, well, at least you're, they're like, thank you for telling us. <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad I can help. And they, and you know, it is, yes. <laughs> there was one, one resident who came up to us, and uh, they were talking of the... They had recently done some concrete work on a walkway. It's weird, because the buildings are three stories on that on one side of the property. But they're built into the ground a little bit. So the first floor is technically the basement. The second floor is what most people would consider the first floor. And there's like a, a raised walkway that goes to the second floor. Then there's stairs up to the third floor. So this guy lives on the second floor. And uh, he has, you know, a medical condition. And he can't really walk upstairs. You know, they did some concrete work. But, you know, they did it that morning. It should have been dry. There shouldn't have been a problem. 
but he came he drove up to the shop and was like listen you guys you you can't do whatever you're doing over at our building because I can't walk up the stairs and I was like I'm sorry what are we doing <laughs> He's like, you blocked off the walkway without letting us know. You can't do that. I was like, here, let me let me call somebody. Turns out the contractor we hired to do the concrete work wasn't what what they did was they went back and they applied some sort of like epoxy or something to the walkway to give it all a uniform look and make it look nice. The problem is it takes like two days for the stuff they put down to dry. And they put up caution tape and blocked the walkways and didn't tell us and didn't tell the residents. So nobody knew about it. Yeah. I was and I was like, let me let me call somebody. I, I talked to the maintenance supervisor after she handled the guy. And she's like, nobody, no one knew they were doing that. They weren't supposed to do something like that. They just took it upon themselves to do it. <laughs> so that frustrated some people. And I could tell it frustrated some people because if you walk into the breezeways now, you can see shoe prints that just walk down the hall and turn into a doorway. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder which apartment walked on it while it was wet. <laughs> uh, ooh, this one's way out in the scourge. Oh, it's just after 9 o'clock. That's okay, I'll run a few minutes over. An Angara ship, I think. This should give us a final location, Ryder. Got it. I'll forward all the information to your Omni tool. Follow the three sabers to their hideout on Kadara. Kadara. <laughs> it's it's never a dull moment, and that's going to be a lot of what I talk about because that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, I'll probably have. Uh, an on-call call sometime in the middle of the night tonight because Mike asked me today if I've had any yet and I said no but now that you've asked me I probably will he's like oh you know that's a good point <laughs> and so you know ooh this weekend we're going to pick up a truck like we bought a truck I say we Tabitha did all the research and I'm going to pay for the truck because it's for me for work so you know, that's uh, it's gonna be nice. Uh, I can use it for work, and uh, I gotta go pick it up on Saturday, but I'm on call. And uh, Mike told me that if we if we're leaving to go get the truck, and somebody call does a like calls in a work order. I don't have to drop what I'm doing and go help them because, you know, I don't think I can reschedule this truck thing. <laughs> he said, just call the resident and tell them, you know, I'm in the middle of another work order, but as soon as I'm done, I'll, I'll head, I'll head over there to you. The problem is I live like 20 minutes away from the apartment complex. So if a call comes in, I have to drive 20 minutes there. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. I'm excited. I'm excited for the truck. I'm going to have to get an estimate on a bed liner, though, and I can tell you it's not going to be cheap. I don't know how not cheap it's going to be, but... Because it doesn't even have, like, the cheapo factory default, like, plastic one mounted in the back of it. There's nothing. Well, I hope that's not the case. Maybe it does. But according to the like pictures and stuff, it didn't really seem to. Tomorrow I'm going to try to double up on my allergy meds and see if that helps. Because my allergies have been driving me crazy. Hell. Ooh, that's my elbows. Do 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 drive. 
Okay. Oops. 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 There's some baddies here. They're up here to be baddies. Nice work. Excuse me, Drac. Tell is basically just Vetra's class. Uh oh. This looks bad. Get him, Drac. Punch him. Punch him to pieces. This supply up. Oops. It's the wrong thing. There we go. Yeah, I'll finish this little quest and then we'll uh we'll wrap up the stream for tonight. Search the hideout. Did I defeat the three sabers already? Oops. Okay, I guess I can't walk through that. Good to know. Picked up some ammo. What's through here? Hello? Anything neat? Or some stuff? Vex's supplies probably stolen on those raids. There's some stairs here. There you go, Drac. Nice work. There's a data pad up here. It's probably what it's going to be. This former leader, Yale. He's on EOS. He was their tie to the Nexus. We'll have to talk to him to get to the root of this. I'm saving everything we found as proof. It'll come in handy. Alright, we'll go to EOS. We'll go we'll, we'll, real, real quick. We'll just go real quick. Oops, nope, get back in the Nomad. I can't be real quick if you get out when I tell you not, when I don't tell you to get out. Uh, we've been running for the, for the two hours. I hadn't really seen Tabitha at all. You know what, we'll just... When I get to space, we'll call it. Because I could sit here all night and play this. Okay. Save game. Oh, Welcome well, back. real quick, before I wrap up, I gotta tell you about this. One of the residents called in with an issue with their uh, with their dryer. They bought a new dryer, and they couldn't plug it in. Like, they plugged it in, but it wouldn't work. They even had some guys come out. Like, they brought the... Uh, essentially, what happened is, they didn't do exactly this, but they said so they bought it from Lowe's, and they paid some guys to come and install it. So they brought, they brought the washer and dryer in, and they installed them, but they were like, well, it's not working, but... We tested it. Your your dryer works. There's just a problem with your electrical outlet. They said, okay. So they called the apartment complex, and we came out to work on it. Um, we test everything. They also said that the rest of their electrical outlets were just not working in most of the house. None of the ones in their kids' room work. They had one or two of them in their bedroom that worked. The Most of the outlets in the living room didn't work. I was like, what is going on? It turns out the breaker for those outlets was off. So we start looking at the breaker panel. We notice that there's one, because they, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen inside a, a breaker panel, you've got two kinds of breakers. You got your standard breakers, which are usually about 20 amps. So if you look at them, it'll be like dishwasher or outlets 
or they'll control some lights in some rooms or they'll do your electrical outlets and they all say they have like a 20 written on them they're a 20 amp breaker if more than 20 amps of electricity comes through it trips the breaker so you know most things in your in your house or your apartment are going to run 120 volts which is your standard electrical socket in america the other kind is dryers um water heaters uh your air conditioning units, both your uh, exterior, your condenser, and your interior, your uh, evaporator coil, your air handler, uh, those all run 240 volts. Those are the ones that have the big, big monster plugs. Those suckers, usually, they'll have like 40 or 60 amp breakers. And it's usually like, it's doubled. So it'll, it'll look like two breakers, but it's just one. Um... There was there were the double breakers, but one was labeled furnace on one half of it. The other half was labeled dryer, but the dryer was written in Spanish. And the only reason I know this is the gentleman that was helping me. He's a, he's a maintenance supervisor at another property, and he's a Hispanic gentleman. And he's super nice. He's awesome. <laughs> but he was like, that says dryer, but I don't know why it's split between these two. Well, we, we pulled the breaker panel off. Turns out there's not a breaker for the dryer in the in the breaker panel, and what's in there is just two wires that go to the outlet, and they just have wire nuts capped on them. So the stupid outlet's not even hooked up to anything. We had to move breakers around in the panel and and like attach the wires to a new breaker and put them in the breaker box because they just didn't have electrical power going to it. And somebody's moving into an apartment tomorrow. They wanted to. The office wanted us to check for because somebody went in and did drywall and covered up the vent for the the vent hose the dryer hooks up to. That's not the only thing they covered up. If there was if, if that was even in there, they also covered up the electrical outlet for the dryer in that apartment. And there's not a breaker for the dryer, so if you that whoever moves in that apartment, they just can't have a washer dryer because there's not hookups for it. <laughs> we. <We'd, laughs> So it either somebody came in and did some drywall and covered it, or it was never there in the first place. And we don't know which one it was, <laughs> which is just fantastic. I mean, it has been a trip. <laughs> the guy that was helping me he turned around and looked at me. He's like, what is with this place? It's like, Your guess is as good as mine, dude. This is insanity. I knew you'd be interested to hear that one, Wolfold. As soon as I thought about it, I was like, I got to tell Wolfold about it before the end of the stream. So that's going to end the stream for tonight, though. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more maintenance stories. Uh, I'll definitely have some later. Uh, I should have some more for you come Friday. Uh, tomorrow I've got to clean the skimmers out on the pool, and I've got to run a backwash on the filter because it's been a couple days. And it's, uh, it's pretty gnarly. So I'm going to have to scoop some crap out of the pool. Just dead leaves and stuff. Now. Ooh, actually, we got a fruit by the foot box. There's a crutch in the pool, too. Um, yeah, so there's some interesting stuff in there. Um, but, yep, yep, yep. Uh, I want to thank y'all for dropping by and checking the stream out. Um, you know, I know. <laughs> I'll take some pictures and I'll try to show them to you on the stream. Uh, they'll probably be hard to see with the camera. It's as garbage as it is but maybe i can i might have a way to do it hmm because my phone connects to yeah <laughs> i'll try to take some pictures of some of the stuff that i've i've seen in there i could post them in the discord i could do that i don't have any pictures of that stuff though i just have a picture of what the pool looks like uh what it looked like about a week ago through the bars tabitha asked me about it and I sent it to her, and I was like, how'd you like to take a dip in that? And she's like, stop, get away from me. Because <laughs> it's gross. I'll uh, I'll take a few pictures tomorrow, and I'll post them in the Discord, just for you, Wapold. How's that? Because I'll take a better looking one than what I got. <laughs> maintenance stories slash maintenance advice. <laughs> Make sure you jam forks in your electrical outlets, kids. That's my the best advice I can give you. I'll set up a channel. I can't guarantee that I'll have it done in a timely manner, but I'll make a note. I don't have a pen anymore. 
because I took the pen with me to work because it's got a it's a good pen. Oh, no, I found a pen. I got a pen. Let's see. Discord channel. Maintenance stories. Slash advice. <laughs> well, the thing, garbage disposals are, I hate them. Hate them with a passion. Because everyone thinks that you've got a disposal that you can basically take half of a boar. You know, actually, let's not even do that. Let's say you can take half a deer. You can jam that sucker down in your disposal. It's just going to chew it all up. Forks, knives, anything you throw in there, it's going to rip it to pieces. In fact, I heard from some friends that you can put eggshells in there and lemon rinds, and the eggshells will sharpen them, and the lemon rinds will make it smell nice and pretty. No, they don't do that. Stop doing that. Maybe if you've got a nice disposal that's got, like, blades on it, looks like a blender down in there, sure, do that. Most people don't have that, though, especially apartment complex. An apartment complex is going to buy the cheapest most worthless garbage disposal it can just to say they have disposals because let's be honest if you put those in 300 units it's going to cost way too much I, I mean i like looking at cost analysis and stuff like like the differences and that kind of stuff i like it all i like discussing it i like talking about it i like doing it so <laughs> it's it's definitely interesting um but they just it drives me insane when people just like my disposal's not working right for some reason. Oh, really? Look, look what look what I'm pulling out of your disposal. No wonder it's not working. I thought I could do that. No, you can't. You just can't. Uh, well, I'm gonna stop talking about maintenance now because if I don't, it's gonna be ten o'clock by the time I stop the stream. So, <laughs> um, thank you all so much for dropping by and saying hello. Well, Paul, I'm glad you enjoy the maintenance stories, and there's gonna be more coming. I promise. <laughs> um. But I will catch y'all Friday, 7 to 9, unless I'm on a call. And I'll post it in the Discord if I am, just to let you know. But y'all have a fantastic night. Thank you very much, Vipold. You have a good night, too. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everyone.